characteristics of sound we know amplitude is the maximum displacement about the mean position in our example we had seen a is one extreme position and m is the dis mean equilibrium position so this distance represents the amplitude of the sound wave greater the amplitude of a sound wave more is its intensity and more the intensity more is the energy associated with it and more the energy associated with the sound wave larger is the distance that it can travel intensity is measured in decibels so sound with greater amplitude is perceived by our ears as a louder sound sound of the same amplitude may appear loud to one while to others it may not so while amplitude and intensity are physical quantities that can be measured with accuracy loudness is a quality of sound which is perceived individually and differs from person to person let us see the example of how amplitude changes with the wave form so this is a sound wave with some frequency and some amplitude oscillating between the mean position m and the extreme positions a and b let us see another sound wave of the same frequency but of a lesser amplitude so this is the wave which is of the same frequency but lesser amplitude so this second wave will appear less loud as less energy is associated with it it will also travel a lesser distance this third wave is also of the same frequency but still lesser amplitude so it will appear less loud and since it has got lesser energy associated with it will travel a smaller distance frequency is the number of oscillations per second unit is hertz or oscillations per second so this is the graph of a sound wave which is oscillating at the rate of 2 oscillations per second greater the frequency higher is the pitch higher the pitch shriller is the sound let us see what happens when we increase the frequency of the sound so number of oscillations have increased in the yellow wave in the white wave the number of oscillations per second is less high frequency sound is perceived by us as a high pitched sound so the yellow waves will appear as a high pitched sound while the white waves will appear as a low pitched sound so how to differentiate between two sounds that are having the same amplitude and same frequency sounds of the same amplitude and frequency are differentiated by their timbre it is the characteristics dependent upon the shape of the sound wave produced quality of sound depends upon mixture of several frequencies present in it sound of single frequency is called a tone in this example these are the two wave forms produced by a flute and a violin you can clearly see the difference between the waves produced by both so even if we play a flute and a violin 
at the same frequency and at the same amplitude we would still be able to differentiate between the two sounds very clearly thank you